Well, this morning we're delighted that we finally have added a fourth lane to the check, security checkpoint here in Wichita Midcontinent Airport. Uh, it was a combined effort between TSA and the airport authority. Uh, as you can see, we used to be standing in the middle of the checkpoint right here, and uh, we've been able to separate the, uh, the two x-rays that were here. We've put two down the east side, two down the west side, and so now we have increased our capacity to process passengers by about 25 percent. That has been very important, particularly during the morning, since we have so many departures, so many passengers that leave very close to the same time in the morning. This morning is the first time it's in operation. How's it working so far? Uh, so far it's been very smooth, uh, partly because the passengers, there's not a big rush of passengers this morning, but um, uh, it has worked very smoothly thus far. We've had it fully staffed since about 4.30. The passengers have flown through fairly easily, and right now it's starting to pick up a little bit as the departures get closer, but it's actually worked very well this morning. And it was needed because there was becoming too much congestion and taking too long to get passengers through? Uh, that's true. Uh, back in about uh, the April time frame, the airlines changed their schedule, and because of that, we ended up with uh, a lot of airplanes leaving at the same time. We would be overwhelmed. We averaged there for uh, uh, April, May, June, and July, about 20 minutes was our average peak wait time, which was much higher than we had had previously. So for that period of time, it was very congested and we needed to, uh, additional capacity. Now, as passengers approach the area, it might not look like the lines are too long, but you say to be aware that it goes on a ways down the hall. Well, uh, that's true. Uh, previously, before we altered the checkpoint, the line would reach right down the middle of the, uh, the uh, passenger terminal, and so people could see. Once they got up to the top of the ramp, that's where the checkpoint was and is. Since we've moved them around the corners, it's a little bit deceptive then as they approach the, uh, the checkpoint area, they can't really see that there may be a, a fairly long line around the corner. So the Disneyland effect is here. What has the reaction been from customers so far this morning? Uh, most of the passengers seem to like it. It doesn't seem as congested. There's an advantage in the fact that right now uh, they don't have to stand on the ramp for very long, which was a problem particularly if you're pushing a wheelchair. So now you get to push all the way up. You're on a flat surface, what, surface while you're waiting to go through the security line. So that's been a real positive for the passengers, and it just gives a, the, the impression that it's much less congested than it was before when everything was in the middle. You guys have any questions? Is it on budget? At, you think it's stayed on budget at 110000 uh, Right. Uh, the airport uh, allotted, I believe, $110,000 for the project. And, and, and as far as I know, it, it came in at or below that budget, yes. And on timeline as well? Yes, uh, it was a very smooth project. The, the glass walls that had to be constructed and things that had to be moved uh, went on schedule. Everything was on time. We had one slight uh, hiccup with one of the new x-rays when it came in, but that was fixed the next day. So it, it was, went amazingly smooth from my perspective. And what do you think the overall impact on this change will be for the airport? Well, uh, until the new terminal is built, this is going to give us the capacity to meet the demand that, as it grows over the years, it should meet the demand so that uh, we can handle what we anticipate the passenger growth. Uh, actually, I didn't anticipate having to have a fourth lane until we moved into the new terminal, but uh, it's good news that we need it. Anything else you'd like to add? Again, I. Yes, we have extra capacity. It will not eliminate wait times at all. So passengers still need to plan to be in line in plenty of time in the mornings and the rest of the day so that you don't miss your flight.